Victoria from Paradise Promotions. I am coming to you live from Destination Show in London today. So apologies if there's a little bit of background noise. I'm going to be telling you all about the villas at Bay Gardens Resort and also our fabulous um, suites, one and two bedroom suites. I'm going to take you over to Nevis and very quickly give you a little gem on the island of Nevis, which we, you could do as a complete buyout. And then I'm going to take you over to Turks and Caicos and I'm going to show you three fabulous new properties that we've started representing in Turks and Caicos, which have um, residences and villas as well. You've frozen, Sarah, I think. I don't know if you'd like me to just continue or if you need to do anything else. Um, in terms of prizes, I've got a £50 Amazon gift voucher from Bay Gardens Resorts and I've got a £50 Amazon gift voucher from the Heartland Group in Turks and Caicos. I'm just waiting to see if Sarah wants me to just start. Um, I can't hear her or see her. Um, if everyone can still hear me, I will just start doing the presentation. Um, can someone drop into the chat that you can hear me? Yeah, okay, good. Right, I will start um, presenting. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna click share sound. And hopefully you can all see my screen okay. So first of all, so I'm gonna take you first of all to St. Lucia. You can see I've got the pitons in the background to Bay Gardens Resorts and also to Waters Edge Villas. So if we start, just giving you an idea of the location, Bay Gardens is up in the north of the island. So it's um, Rodney Bay Village. Uh, so if your clients are flying into uh, Huonora International Airport on an international flight. It's a 90 minute transfer. Um, you can transfer by boat and you can also transfer by helicopter, helicopter as well if you want to shorten that transfer. I actually quite like it. You can open the windows, the breeze is coming in. You're looking out over the banana plantations as you go up to the north. Um, once you get into Rodney Bay, you've got lots of different bars and restaurants. You've got duty-free shopping, the island's only casino, and you've also got some great supermarkets which are affiliated with Waitrose. So if your clients are in that more villa self-catering mode and they want to be able to walk out, then they can do that from the, uh, the property. So first of all, we're gonna to go to these two villas. Now these are really special. I love them because they're not actually on a resort. They are slightly off in what I like to call the Beverly Hills of St. Lucia. So you've got you know loads of lovely big private residences on either side of you. Um, each villa is 4,000 square foot and sleeps on the contract, it's up to eight, but we can actually sleep up to 12 on the villas. So you could take one villa, or if you see the picture at the bottom, if you had a bigger group of up to 24, you could actually have both villas um, and they have all of that space for your group. Now inside the villa, on the ground floor, it's all open plan. So you've got the living area, the dining area, it bends around and like an L, uh, an L shape and you've got the kitchen area. And then you to the side of the kitchen, you've got the utility room. So the rates here are on bed and breakfast. You can either go to the beach resort for breakfast, which I'll come to in a minute, or you can have a cook come in and cook breakfast for you. The only other thing you've got down on the ground floor is a is the fourth bedroom, which has an ensuite bathroom, or you can use that ensuite as the toilet for everybody that's down on this floor. And then obviously you go out into the, the back area. Upstairs, you've got another three bedrooms. So you've got twin bedrooms and double bedrooms, amazing bathrooms. And you can see here, you've got fabulous views out over the marina in uh, Rodney Bay. So it's a really lovely spot and very, very spacious. So outside you can see, this is uh, the picture on the left here. This is the kind of private balcony area. 
area where you can relax, chill out. It's a great place to just sit and people watch because you've got not just people, but you've got the boats coming in and out of the marina as well. And then on the ground floor, you've got your own private pool. You've got lounge area there as well. And you've also got um, a barbecue area. So you've got loads of space. And the other image that I've put in, this image up here, I don't know if you can see it if I move myself down there. This image up here in the top right-hand side, this is actually the, live, the landing of upstairs. It's so spacious that they put this kind of sofa bed in and it's got a flat screen TV on the other wall. And I love it because if you've got teenagers, they make this their space and they can channel their own programs, their Netflix, whatever it is that they want to watch. So this is really, really good for families with teenagers as well. So I'm gonna go through. And then this is just outside to show you that lovely villa setting that you've got, that lovely private pool, all floodlit. You can imagine having dinners here and chilling out with your friends or your family. Now, you've then got the shuttle service, which brings you down to the beach resort. It's only actually a two or three minute walk from the villa to the beach resort, but you've got the advantage of unlimited non-motorized water sports, Splash Island Water Park, which you can see in front of me now. So if you've got family with children of all different ages, they can all come to the beach resort and use the beach, use the sun lounges, they can use the pool here, they can use the restaurants here, and they can use Splash Island Water Park. You could also upgrade your guests at the water's edge to an all-inclusive package. So if they wanted to, they could book on all-inclusive and come down and eat at the beach resort or at the villa and have a chef cook for them. So them the best of both worlds and a lot of options and also at the villa you've got alexa concierge so if you've spent all day down at the beach you come back and you want to go out for dinner in the evening but if you've got teenagers and they're having you could just um you could just quickly order them some pizza so now we're going to go to the beach resort and look at the accommodation there because this webinar is not just villas it's also about residences and we have this is in front of you now this is our delight room so it's our standard lead-in room category which is two two beds but you can see this door is an, a door that index one bedroom suite so one bedroom suite you've got an open plan living kitchen dining area here so this is all space where if you've got clients that want to be self-catering it works really well for them and then you've got the master bedroom so you've got the living room in the middle you've got the twin room to one side and the master bedroom to the other side so that opens up and gives you a fabulous two bedroom residence and you can have that with either a pool or an ocean beach view which is fabulous and again the rates are all on breakfast but you can upgrade to, um, half board and also to all inclusive now i'm going to quickly take you over to nevis because i wanted to share this with you as an option um golden rock inn is a beautiful tiny little property um, to get to Nevis, fly into St Kitts, and then it's a six minute boat ride, just long enough to have a nice rum punch. Uh, and then so it's a little boat ride over to the beautiful island of Nevis. And then this property is perched a thousand feet above the sea level. Um, it's really magical. I think that's the best way to describe it. Huge gardens. I'm, I'm waving to somebody in the background, actually. Tracy Dyson is waving at me. Um, sorry. So yeah, so you can um, you can see it's really magical. There's loads of gardens that have been designed by a gentleman called Raymond Jungles, who's very appropriately named, and he's kind of created it so that you have to peer around corners. So it gives you this lovely um, feeling of being immersed in nature. And the reason that I wanted to put this one in is because they just have eleven elegant, very kind of eco chic bedrooms. So you could actually do a complete takeover. So if you had a group of 22 people or up to 22 people and they wanted something a little bit special, they could take the whole property. The bedrooms are either in the sugar mill or little cottages around the, uh, the main area of the resort and they could really have the whole of this and it's only 4,900 US dollars per night, which up to 22 people is a really great price. You have your own restaurant area, which is called the Rocks Restaurant. Um, the food is absolutely stunning. The breakfasts are immense. Um, so if you've got clients that are maybe celebrating a wedding or a 60th birthday or a 50th or a special anniversary, it's a fabulous um, concept for, for you. And then they have this pool area, which always reminds me of like the, the South of France or something. So that's a really lovely one as well for you to consider. 
And then I'm going to go over to Turks and Caicos now. Now, this is really exciting. It's a new property for us, new product, a new island. Um, I was out there at the beginning of January, and I can't believe I've worked in the Caribbean for so long and never been to Turks and Caicos because it's so different to anything else. Um, now, one thing for you guys is how do you get there? Obviously, we have flights on BA, which go out on a Thursday and a Sunday but they go via Bahamas. So it's a slightly longer flight, about 11 and a half to 12 hours out and about 11 hours back. But what's really exciting is from November, we'll have two flights a week direct into Turks and Caicos on Virgin, I think Tuesday and a Wednesday. Um, so you'll be able to get your clients there a lot easier. And I think because of that, the destination is really going to explode as something new to try. So we've got three properties for you on the island of Turks and Caicos. We've got the Sands, which is on the screen now. Now these are like residences, so they're condominiums. So you can do a one bedroom, a two bedroom, a three bedroom. We've got executive penthouses. They all have the most incredible views of these beautiful beaches, total white sand. Um, the Sands is on something called Grace Bay, where you've actually got the world's third largest reef fabulous for snorkeling and diving and you can just swim out in this gorgeous warm Caribbean sea. Um, you're in the area of Grace Bay so you can actually go out and eat at local restaurants. There's a lot of fine dining restaurants but if you wanted to there's also um, restaurants where you can just get like cutter burgers and, and conch and various different things so you don't have to spend a fortune and again the supermarkets are affiliated with Waitrose so I, I went and had a look and I can tell you that you can get a bottle of Whispering Angel for $38.99. Um, and there's loads of little coffee shops as well, which is really sweet. Now, moving a little bit further up the beach, but staying on Grace Bay, we have the Palms, which is beautiful. Again, this is more of a five star, but we have one, two and three bedroom condos. And we also have penthouses here as well beautifully serviced kitchen areas um, and bedrooms with on suite bathrooms. The design of the palms was actually kind of designed around Sandy Lane. So if you've been to Sandy Lane in Barbados, it does have that vibe to it as well, but slightly smaller. Um, and the spa here, I think is a lot like the spa at Coral Reef. So it's great because you've got the best of both worlds you can do your residence but you can also have rest you've got beautiful restaurant here as well so you can kind of dip in and out now the last property that i want to show you is called the shore club which is absolutely stunning and again they've got residences they've got executive penthouses which are incredible and they've got these six six bedroom villas so i'm going to walk you through this is one of the six bedroom villas. So this video will go on a bit long. I won't be able to show you all of it. You can hear the music. So there's music around the resort. So you've got entrance into the hotel and you can use the facility. So there's two restaurants. There's a fabulous sushi restaurant. There's also a really lovely restaurant called the Almond Tree, which is a real wholesome food. Um, and then you've also got the spa and you've got a pool area, which has also got a bar, which is really chic but you've got this villa. So you can walk through the hotel into your villa this way. And this is the entrance to the villa. You saw, you just saw your private pool and you've also got a hot tub area. You've also got an area here where you can drive in underground. So your clients don't want to have anything to do with a the hotel. They don't have to, they can drive in underground and there's a lift where they park their car and they come straight up into their villa. Now on the left hand side, this door we're going into, this is the entertainment room in the villa. And this is so if you've got families and they want to watch the game or put on a movie, they've got this room where they've got all the all the things they would need for entertainment, widescreen, and it, but it looks out over the pool area as well. So this is and this is your complete compound. So you're not sharing any of this space that you can see on the screen with anybody else. Um, as well as this area, you downstairs, you've got a barbecue area, a garden area, a downstairs toilet here. Now, one of the bedrooms is actually located opposite this room. So it's not completely within the villa. So that would be great for maybe grand and granddad if they wanted to have it their own building, but with it in the villa complex. So now we're going to go into the main villa. So you see this gorgeous staircase. Now the villa opens up in front of you. 
Um, on the left hand side is where the lift is and I'm walking down into the into the main living area here. So you can see that's your barbecue garden area. And as you come down, you've got the living area here and the kitchen. Now you have a butler with these villas as well. So if you want somebody to be doing your cooking for you or arranging your activities, any excursions, that is all catered for. And then just walking through now, you can see we're gonna go out and we're gonna walk down to the beach area, which the, the beach at um, the Shore Club is called Long Bay. And Long Bay Beach differs from Grace Bay because it has a, um, you can walk down for quite a long time and the water is crystal clear and it doesn't get deep. Um, so this is your outside garden area. So you've got plenty of space, the sun is coming in. You've got these lovely sun lounges and this is all private. So nobody else has come up here to this villa. So we come down and this is a little walk. I should really just figured out how to speed this up, but it just shows you the space that you've got. So you come down here. And once you get down on the left hand side, you've got some more private sun lounges. And then you walk down and right in front of you, you've got the beach. And you can kind of feel like you've got your own private little bit of beach again the sun lounges. And every villa has its own private, non motorized water pot. Now it was this video I into the villa and I want to take you upstairs and I just want to show you this is the master bedroom now um this tv that you can see you can you can swizzle the tv around to watch it either way in the living area of the car or the bed or you can take it down completely this is your walk-in wardrobe area um I think I'm going into the bathroom so the, this is an outside shower and what I don't show you here is around the corner you've actually got your own private sauna then you've got your inside shower and bathroom area here, which then overlooks the ocean. And this balcony to come back to in the evening and stand outside on and look at the moon is absolutely phenomenal. It's incredible. I mean, look at that view. So that's really stunning. And you can see the kite surfers as well. So that's, I'm going to finish it there because I'm not sure how I'm doing for time. I think I've done about 20 minutes. So hopefully that's okay. Sarah's back. That's great. And Gemma's here as well. So, so we're all good. So if you've got any, any questions, um, hopefully I'll still be on the call, internet permitting. Um, and I will send you fact sheets and I can send you this video if you'd like to put it on your social media as well. And this just goes out to some of the other bedrooms. But I think that's great. So I'm going to I'm going to stop it there. Thank you so much for your time, and I, hopefully I will see some of you shortly. Okay, we've all got envy now. We all want to be there having a party at that amazing villa. Wow. Um, well, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? That would be fab. Yeah. No, it's really, really good. And um, thank you for the range you've shown us as well, which is brilliant. It's perfect for the villa and uh, luxury apartments because they're very popular at the moment. There's a lot of multi generational families that are wanting this type of holiday which now brings me on to our next guest which is Gemma from the Villa Collection. Gemma over to you. Hi everybody can you hear me can you see me because I my internet went down just before we started this so anyway it's back up and running <laughs> um, and if any of you were on my last webinar <laughs> Um, it was a complete disaster because my very naughty three-year-old came into the room and completely took over the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm hoping this time there's no three-year-old in the house. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully my internet will also um, will also play ball with me. Um, can you see my screen? Just checking. All good. 
All good. Sarah, all good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So, any of you that don't know me, I'm Gemma, and I'm the director and co-owner of the Villa Collection. We are a tour operator, and we've been working with My Booking Re Rewards for the last few years. So, we have a permanent reward scheme available to to all of the agents um, that have joined. Um, just going to give you, um, going to give this a second go without my my three year old. So I thought um, a, a, a good thing to do would be to give you just not just an overview of us, but um, the type of properties that we sell and also um, some key things about how to book villas, things to ask for, etc. Um, we have many, many, many villas that we sell. So there's no way that I can do um, training on all of the properties that, that you can book with us. Um, but please do ask any questions along the way that, that uh, you want answered. So basically we are, as I mentioned, a tour operator. We are a villa specialist. Um, so we're fairly um, boutique and focused on what we do. Uh, we are a small team. So, so there's um, just a handful of us. And I think one of the nice things about being small is that you can offer bespoke and personalized service. So when you call the villa collection, you're not gonna be put into some queue or some call center um, and some anonymous person you will get through to one of our team. Um, we do have an at-all license, so any of you that are um, here in the UK, um, you can book both accommodation only and packages. Um, and obviously packages, because it's at-all, would be um, available for UK outbound bookings. Um, we are very agent focused. Uh, myself and my business partner's background um, has been working with the industry for many, many years. Um, so um, the way that the business has grown is that over 90% of our bookings come via the trade. Um, we've got commercial supplier agreements set up with all the major UK trade consortia. Um, you can see them listed there. Um, and we work also with some other um, mid-size um, tour operators as well. So we, we sell not only to travel agents, but to tour operators as well. So you may have done bookings with us unknowingly because it might have come via one of the tour operators that you've booked with. Um, and of course, we work with um, independent agents as well. So even though we're UK based, we do bookings with um, US, Irish, European, et cetera, agents because we're able to quote you in euros and US dollars as well as um, pound sterling. So we're very, another benefit of being small is we're very flexible and we can work with you and your business model. Um, so our product range, as I mentioned, we are really um, a bespoke villa specialist. So the core of our product is private villas. And when I say private villas, I mean villas that are usually gated. They have their, their own separate entrances, um, which have their own grounds, um, pools. Basically, you're not sharing amenities with um, guests outside of your party. That's what I would consider a private villa to be. Um, many of these villas will come staffed um, or at least housekeeping service as a minimum. And, you know, the main benefit of a private villa as a not just obviously that you're staying, staying in a, a beautiful home, um, but the privacy aspect. And obviously through COVID and coming out of COVID, um, villas have been very much in demand because people have wanted to travel um, with their friends and family and have that kind of, you know, travel in their bubble. Um, and obviously then you don't have to think about sharing amenities, et cetera, with, with anybody else. The villas are your own. One small thing I will say about private villas as well is a lot of them um, in low seasons, so it, that would be the summer for the Caribbean, for instance. Um, you can book villas if, say, for instance, they have four or five bedrooms. They may give, like, give under occupancy savings. So if there's only, say, five or six of you uh, traveling, so you only want three or four bedrooms um, and it's a five bedroom villa, you can um, usually get a discount and only pay for the bedrooms you need. Doesn't mean that somebody else would be using the other bedroom. We would just be locked off. You still have the property available for um, your groups um, exclusively. Um, we then have townhouses, which um, are, you know, villa style accommodations, but usually townhouses usually attached to another another townhouse. Um, so this will give you kind of the space um, and the benefit of having a villa, um, but at a lower price point, usually. Some townhouses will come with their own pools, like this one you see here, which is uh, in Royal West Mountain, Barbados, um, and others might have just a, say, a small plunge pool and then communal pools at your disposal. 
And then we have Villa Resort. So similar to what Victoria was just showing you, it's something like the Shore Club, whereby um, there would be villa uh, amenities and services, um, you know, restaurants, bars, etc., cetera, um, at your disposal. But then the, the resort themselves would have a villa room category. So with these types of resorts, um, many of them would have um, hotel style accommodations as well, but we as a villa specialist would um, usually only sell the, the villa top end category of their inventory. Um, and many people like to have villa resorts because you've got the benefits of having villa style accommodations, but then with obviously resort amenities um, available to you. So it's a kind of a blend of both worlds. Um, and then smaller um, number of, in terms of our inventory, would be some apartments. Um, apartments, a lot of them can be in very great locations, um, whether it's beachfront um, or, you know, uh, city apartments, etc. Again, you have more space, um, but would be in a... Um, in, you know, a kind of a great location. Uh, and then you'd have your own self-catering facilities, etc. Again, apartments, most of them would come with some kind of communal pool, maybe a car parking space and some, um, some facilities, usually a gym, etc. maybe a reception. And then for the ultra exclusive side of the portfolio would be your own island. <laughs> so we sell, um, we sell a range of um, exclusive private islands. Some of these islands are resorts in themselves. So there would be, um, you could have an island takeover um, and some of them would be one island with one exclusive resort on there. So there would be other guests there, but privacy and space is never an issue in those, um, in those destinations. Um, so when we started the company, um, our intention was to do long haul Caribbean, which is my kind of um, expertise, and then my business partner, contracted the Far Eastern Indian Ocean with, with her, um, the tour operator she used to work with many years. So that was really going to be our focus. But then we started working with you lovely agents and you kept calling us up and saying, we know you don't do this destination, but I've got a lovely villa inquiry, um, especially with Europe. So, um, so over the course of the last six years, we've just been adding and adding to our portfolio so you can see we've got quite a large portfolio of destinations now I would say things like Europe because we are a small company we focus on the mid to high range um, market you know we're not trying to compete with some of the mass market filler operators out there um, we are fairly selective in terms of the destinations and the products within the destinations that we sell as well um, and so you can see all of the, the destinations there. And we've just added in the last couple of weeks to uh, Kalkan in Turkey. Um, Turkey wasn't somewhere that was initially on our radar. But again, we started um, researching the destination and looking at some of the villas, especially in Kalkan. Kalkan, we've been quite specific in terms of where in Turkey we're focusing on. And I must say, I'm going out in July, I've just booked this very villa that you see on your screen here. And um, even before I go, I am like blown away with the standard of the villas and the price point. Um, it looks absolutely lovely. And Kalkan itself, maybe some of you have been there, so maybe you can give me some tips. Um, looks lovely as well. So brand new destination for us. Went live about two weeks ago and we've done four bookings already. So that's really, really good. So we're very pleased with how that's taken off. Um, so there we go. Right. So in terms of um, what maybe sets us apart, maybe from, um, and again, this is this is selling points for you as agents. Um, as, a, as a villa specialist, we are not trying to be an Airbnb. So our, all of our villas are professionally managed. Um, imagine if you are, you know, very wealthy and you're lucky enough to own a beautiful private villa somewhere in a gorgeous part of the world and you want to rent it out on um, when, when you're not using it. Most of these owners will go to professional companies in the destination to look after their properties for them. Some of these properties, some of these companies will do everything from managing the staff and the maintenance, etc., for the for the owners. Um, and then we'll have a rentals department. It basically means, and then we contract the villas through, through these companies, which means that when your clients are in the destination, which is really important if they're in you know a long haul destination and there's time differences, etc. It's not a, there's a key under the mat. Let yourself in and, you know, 
you're, you're left to your own devices. There is a point of contact um, locally for them um, if there's any issues and also a concierge service as well. Um, so clients are going to be looked after while they are there. Um, and some of the villas, as I mentioned, will come with some staff included. Um, long haul villas like Indian Ocean, Far East Caribbean will generally have some form of staff included in the price point. Um, European villas, less likely. It's usually just maybe a few days cleaning, et cetera. So I always check to see exactly what staffing is included in the villa so that the clients are well aware at quotation stage. And then additional services that you can add on to your booking will then be things like extra staff. Um, so if it is that it's a villa that just has basic housekeeping service, um, you may want to um, pre-organize a cook or a chef to come in a few days. Um, could be every morning for breakfast or a couple of evening meals. Lots of villa um, families go away because there's a celebration. So they might want to have a nice kind of, you know, a celebratory, celebratory meal one night, etc. cetera. Um, and then we can also offer a pre-stocking of groceries and arrival meals. Um, this is really well, um, I, I would um, suggest you suggest this to, to your clients again for long haul um, bookings. If you've been traveling all day, you know, you get to your beautiful villa, maybe the last thing you want to do is get ready and go and find a restaurant to go out for that night. If you've already got some groceries pre-stocked, some nice cool beers in the fridge or a nice bottle of wine and the basic groceries, great. Um, if you do have a cook or a chef included, then we also we all, always suggest organizing an arrival meal. So you basically get there, you can relax, you have your arrival meal waiting for you. And then maybe think about the first morning as well in terms of breakfast. Um, but we can guide you through all of that. We've got a concierge department which will, which will help you and advise your clients. You just want you just want the to know that when they get to their villa, they're going to be able to immediately re relax. Um, transfers and car hire, we can also arrange as well. Again, you know, villas, um, if people could get to the airport and think, right, okay, we'll just grab a cab. But it's not always, um, you can't always... Uh, uh, Things. So at least you know when they get there. Gemma, I think we've lost you. Can anybody hear me? I can hear you, Sarah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Jill, we've lost Gemma. Gemma, are you there? Right. Yeah, yeah. Did you lose me? We lost you, we lost you, but you're back again. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Right, where did I get to? Did I get to here? Can you hear me? No. Can you hear me? Yeah, we know it. I think you got to there. Um, okay. Last page. Last, oh, uh, right last there. Page. Okay, oh. right, car hire. Yeah, okay, right. I'll move on to the quotation process now. Um, so on our website, we've got over a thousand properties loaded onto the site itself. Um, you can search by destination, price, bedrooms, and type of property. Um, we've also just did a big um, upgrade to our website, whereby with our destinations, we've actually narrowed them down to re regions and neighborhoods. So for instance, if you know your clients are looking for a property in Sandy Lane Estate in Barbados, you can now go straight to the Sandy Lane section of our website and, and see the properties that we've got there. So that's a new function that we've just done um, to the website um, but we've got access to many more properties that you see especially in Europe we just no way we can load all the properties that all of our suppliers um, feature so if you don't have a search if you don't see a property that you think fits the bill always email us um, and and um, 
and we'll do our best to assist. Now, also what you'll see and the screen there shows a landing page of a villa on the website. You can see there's a download PDF fact sheet there. If you click on that, it will download a completely unbranded PDF of that villa with um, obviously no... We've lost you again, Gemma. She was having internet problems before, so I think um, it's been a little bit temperamental. I'll give her a moment. Here she is. We lost you again, Gemma. So sorry, it's my wife. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, there we go. Right, I'll finish really quickly just in case you lose me again. So just to, just to reconfirm, what I was saying was that you can download unbranded PDFs of all of the villas you see on the website to easily share with clients. Um, when you do email us, here are some the, the basics of what we would need from you in order to quote you. Um, and budget is really essential because villas can really massively, um, you know, range in price. So always try to get an idea at least of what your customers are looking to spend because, um, it, you know, it, it is quite critical in terms of in terms of what we are, what we then offer you. Um, children's ages as well is also really important if you if it is a family because some villas won't allow children under a certain age etc um, and yeah just a few other things to consider most villas will want security deposits this is fairly standard right across the board this is a refundable amount usually held on credit card um, that's then refunded once the villa has been inspected after checkout um, so just give the heads up to clients that, that this will probably be expected and it's fairly standard with villas. Um, lots of villas also won't allow um, outside guests without prior authorization, um, no events, parties, weddings, etc. obviously without pre-organization as well. And travel insurance is really, really important. Booking terms and conditions for villas are usually much, much tighter and stricter than hotels. So comprehensive travel insurance is really, really important. And book early to avoid disappointment. If a villa's booked, there's not another one behind it. It's not like a hotel where you might have 20 of one room category. If clients do like the look of a villa, um, then obviously, you know, they are always subject to availability. So encourage them to book early and you get a lot of repeaters booking the same villa. Um, so, you know, just, just, you know, just, just bear that in mind that especially now they're in such high demand, once inventory is released, they can go pretty quick. Um, we've got a trade partners page on our website with um, this type of webinar on it that you can, you can actually watch without me, without me um, disconnecting every two minutes and no th three-year-old either. So a good way for you to rewatch kind of all this information again. Um, we've run out of brochures for last year, but we are looking to reprint them this year. Um, so if you are interested, um, email us and I can put you onto the list to get some mail to you. And please join our agent Facebook group. Um, it's a closed group for agents. We post special offers, et cetera, on there, allowing you to then repost um, information about new villas, special offers onto your own social media and our social media handles are there. So please follow us um, as, as and when you can. And just to finish quickly, um, take note, um, the um, log your bookings for January and February, we're given an extra 150 pounds um, to one person. This is on top of the, the rewards that we pay on every single booking. Um, so January is obviously just finished. So if you do a booking with us in February for any travel date, load it and you might get another 150 pounds. And this is my, um, this is our, our standard reward scheme there in terms of what, what you get depending on the value of the booking. I don't think Victoria will mind me saying, but all her villas, Water's Edge, et cetera, are all bookable through the villa collection. So you can claim rewards through me and claim rewards through her and get double the reward. Um, and 
just to make you all really jealous, Victoria has invited me out to Turks and Caicos in May. <laughs> so uh, looking forward to seeing that, to seeing those properties firsthand. So yeah, it should be fun. So thank you very much. And sorry about my internet. If you've got any questions, always here to help and answer anything you need. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, Gemma. One thing that's important that I, you, it was on your screen, but you didn't cover it, is the fact that you, you can bill in euros, dollars or sterling. So for anybody out there in France or anybody in America, for example, they, she can quote you in dollars and euros. So uh, do let her know if yeah. you need any help with anything. Um, OK, so Gemma, you we lost you at the beginning, so you need to think of a question that you've covered during your presentation. I'm yeah. going to move over to Victoria because we've got a question. Is it for? Ah, oh, no. Um, Lenise has asked, how far in advance can these villas be reserved? So I think this is more for you, Gemma, but it, uh, because you're the tour operator. So how far do you have them for, say, 2024 or is it just up until December 23 at the moment? It, is this for villas in general or general, for, yeah. in general? Yeah, they, they release their inventory roughly 12 months in advance. Um, villa resorts would probably be longer than that because they would they would you know contract um you know further in advance, but the private villas is, is about 12 months, yeah. But if okay. you've got specific inquiries, you know, we've got a really good relationship with our suppliers. So you know, if you are seeing something and it's outside of inventory time, we can always see if the if, if and that would come down to the villa owner deciding whether they want to take a booking further out um or whether they they're gonna wait. So we will always try. We'll always, you know, always contact us. Okay, super. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to move now to the point where we go to chat and make sure that the drop down says everyone. Um, and everybody that's on the webinar gets entered into the prize draw. Um, all three clients today have got a £50 or $50 or €50 euro reward, depending on who wins it. Um, you all get an entry. If you answer the question correctly, you get 10 entries into the prize draw. So I'm going to let Victoria ask her first question. Um, Victoria, ask your first one away and fast finger, we will pick. Brilliant. OK, so... Um... Actually, before I, I did want to say, and I, Gemma beat me to it, but yeah, you can book all of the Water's Edge and the Bay Gardens and the Shore Club and the Sands and everything through um, the Villa Collection. Um, and Bay Gardens has got a rewards program with my booking rewards as well. So if you did book the Water's Edge, you can actually earn up to £100 for a booking there, uh, which is pretty good. So um, do make sure that you're registered on our rewards program as well. So booking for, uh, sorry, question for St. Lucia is how many villas are there at the Water's Edge Villas? Well, I think they were pretty I'm quick a, there. I'm a buyer. <laughs> um, I mean, you can't ask the question. <laughs> you can't answer the question. Yeah, Dear me. Yeah, Daryl, you're the winner on that one. So you've got 10 points or 10 entries. Um, Gemma, your question, please. Uh, my question was, what was the additional amount of reward that we're giving to one agent for bookings logged in February. Here we go, Roxanne. Ooh, I've got you with some fast fingers here. <laughs> it's 150 fast. is the answer. <laughs> yep, that was Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Victoria. Okay, so the question for the for um, the Heartland Group is: I mentioned about a direct flight coming to Turks and Caicos. Um, what month was that flight starting? Well, Shanice. Yeah, and it's actually bookable now. So if you have got clients that are interested, you want to get them booked up, you can book that those um, direct flights now. And yes, they start in November, so that's fabulous. Super. So um, that leads us to the end of our webinar today. So I hope you've all enjoyed it and learned a lot. And you're going to send loads of bookings through to our trade friendly partners here. Um, can I guys, you can, yeah, sorry, you um, we're actually doing a series of agent fam trips to all of our resorts. So St. Lucia, Dominica, Barbados, Nevis, Turks and Caicos this year. So if you're interested in going on an agent fam trip, um, please do drop me an email. Super, thank you very much. Uh, Gemma, do you have anything else to add? No, I just want to say hello to Shanice. I can see she's on here. Just hi, Shanice. 
<laughs> Super. Well, thank you very much, everybody. I'll send a recording out with a copy of everything. And yeah, well, we'll see you all next week at next week's webinar. Um, so have a good weekend, everybody. And thank you for joining us. Thank bye you bye. for your time, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye, bye, everybody. Thanks, bye. guys.